Hi YouTube family, welcome to Concept in Medicine. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at plasma osmolality versus plasma osmolarity. In basic chemistry, you should know that when we say osmolality, we are referencing the solute. That is the number of particles in milliosmoles divided by kilogram of the solvent, and that is water. And in that scenario, we will say that the unit of osmolality it will be equal to the milliosmo per kilogram of water. What of osmolarity? Osmolarity. For the osmolarity, we will say that the number of particles as we are looking at the solute per the volume of the solvent, that is water. And in that case, we will say that the unit of osmolarity will be equivalent to milliosmo per liter. All right, now let's look at how to calculate for the plasma osmolality because we are going to be using that a lot in medicine. So in that case, we'll say that the plasma osmolality will require the concentration of sodium ions. Then we'll also require the concentration of glucose as well as urea. So in that case, we'll say that plasma osmolality is equal to two times the concentration of sodium that is going to be in the normal SI unit that's two times the concentration of sodium plus the concentration of glucose in milligram per deciliter divided by 18 then plus the concentration of urea in milligram per deciliter divided by 2.8 and finally we will say that the normal plasma osmolality is equivalent to 275 to 295 milliosmo per kilogram of water. And in the world of diabetes mellitus, complications that we can think of diabetic acidosis and hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state, that's HHS, DKA and HHS, we will say that in diabetic ketoacidosis, that's DK, the plasma osmolality is usually greater than 290 milliosmo per kilogram of water. Whilst in hyperosmolar hyperglycemic state, the plasma osmolality is usually greater than 320 milliosmo per kilogram of water. And in that case, you will realize that for HHS, the plasma osmolality is greater than that of the diabetic ketoacidosis. Then finally, one last thing I want us to talk about is the osmolar gap. So for the osmolar gap, we will say that it is the difference between the measured plasma osmolality and the calculated plasma osmolality. What do I mean by that? For the measured, it means that which is coming from the laboratory. Then for the calculated, is that which is standard for that particular uh, condition or in that scenario or for the threshold that you are looking at, that which is what calculated and that which is coming from the lab which is measured. The difference between these two is what we call osmolar gap. I believe we've made a lot of understanding out of this. Thank you very much for sitting through the lesson. Kindly make sure to subscribe, share, like, and also comment the next concept you would like to see on my channel. My name is Dr. Dell, and this is Concept in Medicine. Bye-bye.